I have to turn on the air conditioning because it's so hot in here. Welcome back to another vlog, guys. Today is Tuesday. I'm just coming into my bedroom. I honestly wasn't planning on vlogging today just because I had a whole day planned out. I kind of forgot that I'm gonna be gone this weekend. <laughs> Story of my life. And so if I wanna put out a video this week, I have to start it today because I'm working tomorrow and then Friday morning I leave really early. So we are gonna get the vlog started just in the apartment at home. I was actually supposed to be in a class right now. Uh, some of you guys will remember I'm part of the ICF, which is the International Coaching Federation. And there are so many benefits to being part of this organization, but one of them, for me, the biggest one, is that you can take workshops and classes and things like that throughout the weeks and months. And so usually every week they have at least like a couple of workshops, even just like networking Zoom calls that you can hop on to. I became a member in March, so I really started doing these probably around end of April, beginning of May. So I've done a couple and then they took a break in August because of summer. They just take the whole month of August off. Then this week they're ramping back up again. So I signed up for this class today that was about coaching and neurodivergency and coaching people with ADHD, which I think is really interesting. And also I think nowadays the chance that you work with someone who has been diagnosed with ADHD or likely has ADHD is so much greater than it used to be and so being able to understand that and being able to I guess tailor your coaching techniques to working with people who have this is super helpful so I was so excited about it and then they sent me a link that doesn't work <laughs> so I was not able to get on the class and I honestly don't know if anybody was able to get on the class I keep checking my email to see if they're gonna send a new one but I think unfortunately I I'm just missing it. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I am booked into another one on Thursday, which is kind of a different topic. I forget what that one is about. But you also get credits for each class that you attend, which is kind of how you're able to maintain your credential over time. It's all good. I'm sure there's gonna be more in the future. And I am also booked into another one on Thursday, which is about something else, but I should be fine. Anyway, I think this is just gonna be a chill vlog from the apartment. I am gonna be working tomorrow but it's with one of my regular clients in the city and I usually am not able to vlog very much when I go there. So I might just bring you guys along, do some hair and makeup clips and show you guys what I eat for lunch. <laughs> Thursday I'm gonna be packing for Canada and I have a couple coaching calls so we'll be here too. So yeah, that's kind of how my day's going so far. The other thing that I really wanted to do today and in all honesty, I dedicated my afternoon to doing this after the workshop is I want to create a lookbook in my phone for what I'm gonna be wearing this fall. Just with what I have so far, I have a list of things that I actually wanna get for this fall and winter season, which I might share with you in a future video in a couple of weeks when I have some of those pieces and I'll explain to you why. But the reason why I wanna do this is because I've always taken pictures of what I wear in the moment and I'll save them in my phone, but I, have never done it to the point where it's actually super helpful for me. I just feel like I don't, I never take it to the point where I actually have enough variety and I have enough photos of options where I feel like it's really easy for me to use and I end up just going into my closet anyway and then not knowing what to wear. Also just kind of figure out what I need. I have been feeling almost like I need to do a little closet refresh or just revamp things and get excited about my wardrobe again, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna need some coffee to get through this. I think the easiest way to do this is to go by pants or bottoms. Pick one bottom. I'm gonna lay out all my shoes too that I would possibly wear in fall and winter. Do the combinations that I think I would actually wear, take pictures of them, and then move on to the next pair of pants. I feel like that's probably the easiest way to do it rather than do it around a top or do it around a jacket because then you have to keep taking off clothes. I feel like starting with a pant and working with that pant and seeing how many options I can come up with is probably the most productive way to do it. So let's start with that. Speaking of pants, I really need to get a couple more pairs of pants. I think realistically I need one more pair of nice denim that I can wear out to dinner, that I can wear to an event, that I can wear um, to, to the agency, to a casting. Preferably like a darker wash. Maybe even something similar to these. I think you guys will remember these. One of my favorite pairs. I think I might actually start with these because I think 
this will go pretty quickly. Even though they're one of my favorite pairs of jeans, they are a little bit more challenging to style, I think, because they are a little bit more of like a wider leg, but they also fit like a trouser. And so they're too long to go with sneakers, so you can't really wear them with sneakers. You can't really wear them with too oversized of jackets either because it just looks off. This almost looks better with a more tailored jacket or something a little shorter. Or you just need to wear it with a top and then wear the blazer over your shoulders or like a long coat or something. That looks good too, but I always feel like if you're gonna wear a pair of pants that are a little bit more wider, you have to wear a top that is a little more fitted or just has a little more structure to it. You know what I mean? Okay, so right now I'm wearing those jeans with just a pair of black boots and this cute cardigan from Aritzia that I think I got sometime last year. Normally when I wear this, I wear it with a bodysuit underneath, but I'm trying to save time. So I'm not gonna put on the bodysuit right now, but this is kind of how I would like take a picture of it. I would probably maybe take a picture of this closed because I feel like that is maybe how I would wear it. And then I also put on this little belt because I have recently fallen back in love with accessories. I actually ordered a couple belts that I can show you guys later in the video. I think for a while it was almost trendy to not wear a belt. And lately I've just been feeling like there's something missing from my outfits. I'm already not a huge jewelry or accessory person to begin with, but a belt just really ties things in. This is maybe not even the belt that I would wear with this, but this is just kind of what I have on right now. So I'll put that with it. I'll take a picture of this and then I'll try the jackets that I have that will go with this outfit. Cause that's another thing where I kind of lose myself is Sometimes I'll like an outfit on, but then I don't have like a jacket that'll go with it or I just will spend too much time trying to figure that out. So like this jacket, for example, would look really cute. Obviously I don't have it on right now, but because it has this white trim, it goes really well with the white cardigan. And then you can definitely mix metals. I'm all for mixing metals, but because this jacket has, they're not gold, they're brass buttons i would probably wear a gold belt or if you didn't want to wear a belt with this you could do a bag that has gold accents instead of silver okay i just put this on because i thought it would go with these pants but i realized that i never showed it with you this is from Cezanne's fall collection and i thought that this was so chic see if i can make this a little bit brighter because it's not as dark as it's showing up on camera but it is i guess a dark gray wool sweater, mock neck. I really like this and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. I think it's super versatile. You can obviously wear it on its own, just tucked into a pair of pants. Um, I actually wore this to a photo shoot recently and I had it with my leather pants and just a pair of black boots. But you can also put like a button down shirt underneath. You can put a blazer over. So I'll link this so you guys can check it out. The other thing that I recently got from Cezanne are these ballet flats. I actually have a little heel, but I love them so much and I've been wearing them around the house just so that I can kind of break them in. I never really thought of myself as a ballet flat girl, but when I saw these online, I was like, wow, I could actually use a pair of shoes like this in my wardrobe. So hopefully these are going to work out. The one thing that I bought last year that really hasn't worked out for me are loafers. It's funny because they're actually dusty because I haven't worn them all year basically, but these are from Madewell. There's nothing wrong with the actual shoe. I just do not find myself wearing them at all. I think I remember telling you guys earlier this year, I was like, this is gonna be my go-to shoe for when I don't wanna wear boots, but I wanna wear something nicer than a sneaker. And I honestly have not broken them out. I think one, I'm just not a loafer person. And two, they are just not comfortable for New York. I don't know how people walk in them all day long or just walk around the city in them, but Unfortunately, I can't do it. So I will probably be donating these. I don't even know if I could sell them. I didn't pay that much for them, but but yeah, I always feel like I share my shopping wins. So I thought I would share my one shopping fail with you guys. Hopefully there won't be many more in my future. Got back from Trader Joe's. I am gonna be making dinner for Avery and I a little bit later. It's five, almost 5.30 now, but he's not gonna be home from work until like 7.30 or 7.45. So I'm gonna have a little snack. Got some seaweed. <laughs> and then I also got some dried mango. So I'm gonna have that. And then I'll probably start making dinner in an hour, an hour and 15. I wanna share some things with you guys, but I feel like it's a little bit too early. 
to share it, which is kind of annoying. I guess I can tell you guys about the way that I've been feeling. Maybe I'll start there and then I'll tell you more in a couple weeks when I, I have more answers, but I have just been in this place. I see a little bug crawling. Um, I have just been in this place the last few months where I just have this insane drive and hunger to do more in my modeling career. And before I say anything else, I'm very grateful for everything that I have been given, for everything that I have honestly worked really hard for and worked really hard to get here. I'm so grateful for the people who have represented me and have supported me and, and whatnot, but I feel like I've been in this place for probably the last year, year and a half that's been really nice and really comfortable. I'm kind of ready to be uncomfortable again. And um, I think part of this also just has to do with where I'm at in my life, my age, my shelf life sounds really negative, but I guess it is sort of like my shelf life as a model. And that's not to say that I can't model for a very long time but I'm only gonna be able to do it with this level of freedom, this level of flexibility um, for so long until I wanna have a family. Over the last few months I've been taking, I'm sorry if my camera's perfect, I have you guys on this box. But over the last few months I've been really having a hard look at who I am represented by, what I might be missing out on, um, what changes do I need to make in my own life to get to this place where I want to be and taking action because I know better than anybody especially through my coaching background and stuff like execution is where things happen we can all dream we can all have wants and needs and goals and whatever but if you don't take action it's not gonna happen that's kind of why I've been doing all of these shoots in the past few months. I've been trying to get my book to a place where it's never been before and being even more diligent about my lifestyle choices, just trying to get myself to a place where I have never been before so that I can do things that I have never done before in my career. I think regardless of the outcome, I think I want to get myself to a place where I know that I have given my absolute everything to my modeling career and ultimately there are just certain clients that I haven't worked with yet that I really wanna work with, certain types of jobs that I haven't done yet that I really wanna do before, um, you know, this like future chapter that I have in like five-ish years. I feel like I've been rambling now, but I will be sharing more about it in the future. Sorry if it sounds a little vague now, I have no idea what I just sounded like, but. I promise I will share more. I will say one more thing before I dig into these snacks. <laughs> um, part of the reason why I think this is coming up for me right now is because I, one, just want to get everything. I want to get the most out of this time in my life. But also, I feel like I have finally found this confidence inside of me, this like belief that I can truly do and achieve everything that I want. It's crazy to think that it took me almost 10 years of living in New York, doing this career, to get to a place within myself where I just will not listen to the excuses, I will not listen to any of the noise. Like I truly believe that I can do anything that I want and that I deserve everything that I want um, when it comes to my career. And I know that might sound a little I don't even want to say this, it might sound a little um, egotistical, but I think truly like to be at the place where I want to be in my career, like you have to believe that and you have to be in a place where you feel deserving of everything and feel capable and feel confident in yourself. Not to say that I never asked for things or not to say that I never um, voiced my opinions or shared my wants and needs, you know, I feel like I, I tried to do that as best as I could, but I do think there's a part of me that was afraid to ask for too much or afraid to be too much or afraid to really maybe even truly like believe that I could do it and now that I feel that way I I just want to go after it and I want to I want to do it all you know um, so anyway that's enough about this I just hope that it maybe inspires one other person to 
take some calculated risks and go after the things you want and be unapologetic about what it is you think you can do because as long as you believe it, I, I say this to people all the time, as long as you believe it, you can do it. It might not happen right away, but it's going to happen. Um, it's going to happen for me and it's gonna happen for you too. Okay, this is our finished dinner. Avery's on his way home. This is one of those simple but effective dinners. Just got a protein, a carb, and a vegetable. These are just put in the oven on 400 for 35 minutes maybe. Chicken I made in the cast iron and then rice I just made on the stove. Super simple. Okay guys, it is Thursday now. I decided not to take you guys to work with me yesterday because I just knew deep down that I wasn't gonna be able to show you very much. So we're picking the vlog back up today. I just got off my second Zoom call this morning, my second coaching call, and now I'm quickly trying to pack my suitcase for the weekend um, before I have to hop into this class that I booked. I'll tell you guys more about that in a second, but I remember under my last vlog, I, sorry, that made no sense. At the end of my last vlog, I asked you guys to let me know if there's anything that you want to see or anything that you want me to film going into the fall season. And I saw all your comments. I am going to do more like fashion related things and like monthly favorites and things like that. But I also got a comment asking about packing and like packing tips and stuff. So I figured I would talk about that now while I'm doing it or oh shit my battery's gonna die this is not a good situation because my both of my batteries are dying so let's see how long this one is gonna last i was gonna say i feel like i've gotten really good at packing especially good at packing this year just because we've been going away for the weekend pretty much like every week or every other week and so i've really gotten it down to the things that are my must-haves and then the things that i just keep at home because i'm not going to need them the biggest tip that i would give to anyone who is learning how to pack more efficiently or just anyone who travels a lot is to have the same products you use every day in travel size version and just keep them in one bag and this is what i do i have my favorite skincare this is like my skincare bag so I have all of my like travel size products. The only thing it doesn't work for is my sunscreen. But everything else is travel size. It stays in there. And then the last thing is this bag, which is my emergency bag, so to speak. It has band-aids in it. It has Advil in it. It has hair ties, girl stuff. It has like little travel size coffee packets in there for when the hotel doesn't have coffee so i can make it in my room i have some like vitamin c stuff in there basically anything that i might need while i'm out it's really mostly for the advil and the band-aids <laughs> but this is just great to have and to have ready to go so that whenever you travel just like the skincare and the makeup you just kind of throw it in and you don't have to think about it or look for all the things that you might possibly want to bring with you it's just all there in one bag the other thing i've recently started doing is using a packing cube and i really only have one of these right now but i put all of my personal garments in there so i right now i have like t-shirts and tank tops but i also put like my underwear my bras my socks my sleeping stuff this is a bikini because we're going to the spa um i'll put all of those more personal items in this packing cube so that if they need to open my suitcase, which doesn't really happen, but if they do, then there's nothing just like falling out from places and it's kind of just like packed up in its own little thing. This one I got made for me at an event. And so I only have one of these, but I honestly will probably buy more of these in the future because they really are so easy. Whenever people started using them, I always thought that they would somehow take up more space in a suitcase. But I think if you're someone who likes things to be very organized, these are great. And also if you're going to multiple destinations on a single trip, then it can be nice to just put certain outfits in certain packing cubes for whatever destination you're at in that moment. Other than that, I think the biggest thing is to just separate the travel stuff from the regular everyday at home stuff. Um, I even kind of do this with my hair tools. Like when I'm at home, I love to use my shark flex style with a big brush but traveling with it is not the easiest and so I will usually just travel with my straightener because I can get it to kind of look the way that I want 
um, without taking that whole thing with me and the straightener is obviously a lot easier to travel with. So that's something I will do. I also have like a separate brush for travel. It's smaller than the one that I have in there. I have like a separate toothbrush, all these like separate toothpastes. And so just saves a lot of time from putting your regular products into like little travel containers and it's not as messy. It's just like a lot easier. And I also make a list. <laughs> Every time, pretty much. This session is hosted by ICS New York City on coaching to the neural type. Even our international members let us know where you're coming in from. Okay, I'm back at this bowl, and this time with Charlie and Renee. We all got the same. Okay, it's been a little bit of a busy one. I unexpectedly had to film another self tape. <laughs> In between the workshop and my lunch with Renee and Valen, the self tape is due tomorrow at noon. I think it's tomorrow at noon, but because I'm gonna be in Canada, I have to film it today and send it out today. So I honestly didn't know when I was gonna film it. I was like, oh, maybe I can cut my lunch short and then come back when there's still enough light out. But the video is in swimwear and my hair also just was getting greasier by the minute. So I was like, ideally I would do this before lunch, but I also paid for this workshop and I didn't want to cancel like five minutes before the call. So I was like, I'm just going to do it after lunch. It's fine. And then an hour into my call, they, the workshop was only an hour and a half, but an hour in they started doing like a question and answer segment. And I noticed a bunch of people were leaving because they had to go to meetings and other things. And so I also took that opportunity to leave. I filmed the self tape. Now I just have to edit it and submit it, which I still have a little bit of time to do that. So I feel like this always happens to me the day before I have to leave for the weekend or the day before I have to travel. It's just like everything comes in all at once, but it's fine. It'll be, it'll be so worth it if this comes through. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm gonna be editing for a little while and then I'm just really doing some laundry, doing some packing. I have to figure out dinner. Maybe I can get Avery to figure out dinner for us tonight. Let's see. Okay, Avery's gonna pick us up some dinner. He's gonna go to dig and get us some bowls. So I'm really happy about that. I just realized that I never showed you the belt that I got and it just came in the mail yesterday. I just got this one from Aritzia and I really like it. They have it in both gold and silver, but there's a different belt that I really love that they have in gold that I'm hoping comes back in stock later this year. So I decided to go for silver with this one and I'm gonna try and style it this weekend while I'm gone. Okay, I am gonna end off this vlog. I'm gonna enjoy this bowl. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.